everybody, welcome to Tommy's Beer Reviews. Thanks for joining me for my second fun beer on a Friday. And it happens to be the last one I've got. Yeah, it is the last one I've got from, pardon me, from Orlando. And probably one of the strangest ones as well. So pick this up in Walmart. Take a good look at that. It is Mountain Dew, but it says hard. It's an alcoholic Mountain Dew. 5% uh, ABV. Paid about $3 for it, so it's about £2.50, something like that. I understand... Uh, latterly understood uh, that this is only available in three states in the US. So obviously Florida being one of them. So look a little boy to be able to get hold of one. Um, it is, I'm guessing that's a pint, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to this well. Uh, it's, one, it's one and a half pints. Massive. One and a half pints of um, alcoholic Mountain Dew. It's black cherry flavour, uh, zero sugar, malt beverage with natural flavours, artificial sweetener, and the certified colours. So I think the certified colours thing is just, um, I think just America, just the, the food um, state uh, agency that have their food standards agency, just bans lots of colours. Um, so it's obviously got a certified colour in it. Let's crack it open, let's get the glass. Whether I'll drink a pint and a half on camera, I don't know. It's a lot of drink to take in. Hard Mountain Dew. I couldn't believe it when I saw this in, in Walmart. So it was um, Mountain Dew. Uh, so it was Black Cherry. I do like Black Cherry as a, as a flavour. And then I started to say hard and a 5% there. Absolutely amazing. Contains alcohol. You've got to be 21 years old or above, which lucky I am, to be able to buy it. So that has, do you know what? That looks like a weak cherry pop, weak cherry soda as our American cousins would, would call it. It's kind of a pinky colour. Clear, nice bit of carbonation. Do you know what it looks like? A Mountain Dew pop. A Mountain Dew is one of the strange ones. It's, um, I don't think you, you see it everywhere over in the UK, do you? But you do seem to service stations and petrol stations for, for some reason. I think that's the place I've, I've always tend to see it. And it's not this, it's always the uh, is it lime, lime and lemon version. But yeah, looks looks good. Let's get the uh, the old aroma, shall we? Just smells like sweet black cherry. It smells like a cherry soda would cherry pop would smell. That's all it smells like. Right, let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everybody. That works. Buy it, that works. Um, it tastes like, you can taste a little bit of alcohol. Um, but yeah, it just tastes like a cherry pop. I remember when I was a kid, one of the uh, flavours of pop we always used to get from Pop Man was a cherry one and, and for me that that tastes not too dissimilar it, it tastes like um yeah it just tastes like a cherry pop it's bizarre uh it's not massively sweet i thought it'd be really sweet it's not one so on, on the front there say um artificial sweeteners I was worried you're gonna get a massive bitter um, artificial sweetener taste and you don't there is a little bit in there but it's not overpowering it's not making it taste bitter or awful um, it doesn't taste like um, natural cherry uh, let's be honest it is uh, a flavoring and you can you can taste it's, it's flavoring it works. Um, can't taste any ABV. You'd never know you're drinking five percent beer. It's bizarre. It's bizarre, and I think that's quite dangerous. 
Um, only that's why it's only allowed in three states in the US. Yeah, do you know what? But I like it. I do like it. Um, think about the ready to drink market we've got in, in the UK. You've got kind of the cocktail side of it. You've got those Alcapop Alka -pop side and Alcapop side. You've got like the um, the Wicked, the, the Hooch, those sorts of things. And they sell really well. And I can't see why this wouldn't sell well over, over here. They tend to be about 4%, I think. This is 5%. I don't know if there's a legal thing about Alcapops and, and how strong they're supposed to be. But if this came over here, I think this would be, you know, the, the, the Mountain Dew, I think, has got quite a following in the younger generation. And if this came over here, not too young, uh, but if this came over here, this would be really, really popular. It tastes nice. Um, yeah, I, do you know what? I'm going to sit and enjoy it, and I'm going to um, not drink it all because uh, Mrs. Andy's Beer Reviews likes uh, black cherry like I do. So I'm going to sit her down and drink it and see what she thinks of it as well. But yeah, do you know what? That works for me. I like it. I like it. It's kind of, it has got that, when I think of that flavour, it's kind of got that Mountain Dew flavour, got that black cherry flavour. Don't really taste any alcohol. You'd never really know, I don't think. Yeah, it works. I like that. I like that enough to score that. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews on this hard alcoholic uh, black cherry Mountain Dew. Um, yeah, I like it. Until next review, everybody. Cheers.